We've all heard of the seven wonders of the ancient world, but how much do we really know about them? How did they come to exist, and what remains of them today? They were some of the world's most extraordinary structures, but only one of these seven exists today. Many authors in ancient Greece wrote about these wonders, and their writings are how we know the names and the histories of these seven creations. These wonders include the Great Pyramid of Giza, the Colossus of Rhodes, the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, the Lighthouse of Alexandria, the Mausoleum of Halicarnassus, the Statue of Zeus at Olympia, and the Temple of Artemis. Each wonder has its own unique history and is worth learning more about. First, I'm going to tell you about the Great Pyramid of Giza. It was not only the oldest wonder, but it's the only one that still is standing today. It is located in the Giza Pyramid Complex in Egypt, and it was built around 2560 BC as a tomb for the pharaoh named Khufu. Although it originally stood at 481 feet tall because of wear and tear over the years, today it only stands at about 455 feet. It was made with an estimated 2.3 million blocks of limestone and granite, but how it was constructed is still up to, to, up to the debate uh, to this day. Some think it was created by slaves, while other, thinks, other people think that it was constructed by skilled workers. As the only remaining wonder, it remains a popular tourist attraction to this day, and many still stand in awe of its magnificence. The next wonder I'm going to tell you about is called the Colossus of Rhodes. It, was, it is a statue of the sun god Helios, and it was constructed on the Greek island of Rhodes by a sculptor named Chairs of Lindos in 280 BC. The statue was made to celebrate a victory over the ruler of a nearby island, Cyprus. It doesn't exist today, but it is believed to have been 108 feet tall. That would be about the same height as the Statue of Liberty. It was made of bronze and it was reinforced with iron, and it was eventually destroyed by an earthquake in 226 BC. Today, there are still plans to rebuild this wonder, though. One wonder that may not have ever even existed is called the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. It was said to be a series of tiered gardens, including trees, vines, shrubs, and all sorts of greenery. This was in the ancient city of Babylon, near present-day Hilla, Iraq. Legend says it was built by a Babylonian king for his wife, who missed the green hills of her homeland. However, it is the only wonder that doesn't have any archaeological evidence that would show that it ever existed. There's also no Babylonian writings that ever speak about it. Only the only descriptions that we have of it are in ancient Greek and Roman writings. Because of that, it is thought to be a myth, simply representing a romantic ideal of an eastern garden. Moving on, the Lighthouse of Alexandria was a 330-foot-tall lighthouse that was built in the city of Alexandria in Egypt. It was built by the Ptolemaic Kingdom between 284 and 246 BC. It was built with blocks of limestone and took about 12 years to complete. It was damaged by three earthquakes between AD 956 and 1323, and it eventually became an abandoned ruin. Although it doesn't exist today, in the 90s, some remains of the structure were found on the floor of the Alexandria Eastern Harbor. Another wonder I will tell you about is called the Mausoleum of Halicarnassus. It was built in what is pres now present-day Turkey between the years of 323 and 350 BC. It was constructed as a tomb for a ruler named Mausolus and his wife. The tomb was 148 feet tall, and it was made of marble. It was eventually destroyed by multiple earthquakes that occurred between the 12th and the 15th century. Lastly, this was the origin of the word mausoleum, which is now commonly used as a word for a tomb that is above ground. Moving on to another one of these wonders, I'm going to tell you about the Statue of Zeus at Olympia, which was a 43-foot-tall seated figure of the Greek god Zeus. It was constructed by a Greek sculptor named Phidias at 435 BC in the city of Olympia, Greece. It was made of both ivory and gold, and it took 12 years to be completed, 
and it was one of the most revered artistic works of ancient Greece. It was destroyed sometime in the 5th century AD. And now I'm going to move on to the last one. This is called the Temple of Artemis. This was a Greek temple dedicated to the goddess Artemis. This was a uh, Greek temple of, me, this, located in Ephesus or present-day Turkey. It was created with marble and it was rebuilt many times because of a flood and eventually it was rebuilt and then there was a fire that burned it down and it was never rebuilt again. In conclusion, these are the seven wonders of the ancient world and how they came to be. From the still standing magnificence of the Greek pyramid of Giza to the mythical descriptions of the hanging gardens of Babylon, each wonder is unique and fascinating to hear about. It is a shame that we cannot see some of these with our own eyes today, but hopefully these descriptions will be enough to satiate your curiosity.